Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the Creative Lab ZI Sound D5 speaker dock. Now this is a top notch speaker dock with a real difference to it. So excited about this one, I'm going to dive straight in and show you around the product. Now as you can see it's quite a wide unit. The front of the unit houses two drivers here. We've also got a little LED light on the front to show that it's powered on and connected to a device. And if I zoom in for you, just on the top of the device just here we have got a touch sensitive control and if I move my finger up and down here you can see some little LED lights following my finger and also the volume going up on the iPod touch that's docked at the moment so this is a touch sensitive control for the volume on your iPod or in fact any Bluetooth enabled device this will work with the iPhone um, or any mobile phone that's got Bluetooth 2 on it. Now, if I give you a little tour around the back of the device, if I swing my table around here, you can see on the back of the speaker unit, there's this base port, very important. So we've got two speakers in the front, base port on the back, so it's a 2.1 speaker system. If I just tilt this up for you, you can see there's a little auxiliary input port here, three and a half mil jack, so you can, in fact, attach any mp3 player to it power on off button and then the port for the supplied power supply now if i just give you an angled view here these little uh, sort of round pads here are dock connectors and uh, they're not actually to get this to attach to it but they're just to pad the backing of the ipod out you get different size ones in the box you can pop this padding off and pop a different size on so it will give a nice snug fit and support to the device that you're connecting. So this is only really relevant when you're attaching an Apple iPod to the speaker system or perhaps an iPhone. Now, if I go back around to the front of the device for you, and let's pop this iPod back on and set some music playing. Now, this is where the speaker system differs from others that I've reviewed. As you can see, it's docked at the moment. We've got a little charging icon on the iPod itself, so it's charging and playing music at the same time. What I can actually do is undock the iPod, and as you can see, this little adapter has come out. This is a Bluetooth dongle, and you get one included with the speaker system. And now I can use my iPod Touch as a remote. So if I turn the volume up and down, Or I can, of course, skip back to the beginning of the track or change tracks completely. Let's give you a little listen to, uh, let's go back another track and I'll give you a little bit of a listen to some music so you can see how it actually sounds. So it's not going to translate very well onto the YouTube video, but it gives you an idea of the quality of sound output from this. And I'll touch on that in a, in a moment in my review. Just back to the connectivity options, you obviously get this free dongle in the box. And this allows you to attach it to any iPod that has a 30 pin dock connector. So it could be an iPod Nano or an iPod Classic and transmit the sound wirelessly to the speaker system. If you've got a Bluetooth 2 enabled device, so an iPod or an iPhone or another mobile phone that's already got Bluetooth uh, built in, you do not need to use this little dongle. Now you can get extra dongles if you want, uh, they cost you around about £40, and you can also get a Bluetooth dongle for your computer, perhaps a laptop, you can get those direct from Creative, and that enables you to stream music from your laptop to the speaker system as well. Now, I'll just give you a quick rundown on the specifications. To um, uh, stream from your device, you get a 10 meter range. So this could be in another room and it will still stream music to it. It measures 42 and a half centimeters in width and 11 centimeters in depth, nine centimeters in height. So fairly compact unit, you just need a bit of width on a bookshelf to accommodate it. It weighs 8.4 pounds and it supports Bluetooth 2 and EDR. 
So very nice speaker system. I'm gonna tell you about my impressions on it now, the audio quality, absolutely fantastic. I've reviewed a lot of systems over my years of doing reviews on, on YouTube, including a BMW Zeppelin Mini, and this uh, compares very favorably to it. Uh, the bass quality is absolutely superb, doesn't distort at all. Mid-range and treble, fantastic. If you're listening to vocals, very, very warm sound from this speaker unit. And the control at higher volumes is also good too. It doesn't get all messy. It does control the audio very well. I love the fact that I can use this wirelessly and I can just simply dock it back in there and it'll start charging. Fantastic feature. Creative have done a fantastic job on this. It is quite expensive. It's gonna cost you around about 280 pound in the UK or about 300 to $320 in the US if you shop around. But if you want a good quality speaker system that allows you to stream wirelessly to it, this is a fantastic choice. I think the only fault that I can uh, sort of tell you about it, the only negative, is that because this cloth grill covers the whole speaker, it does pick up dust quite easily. And, and I don't like dust on my devices, so that is one of the... Um, only negatives I can really pick up on is just this cloth grill being very dusty all the time. But overall the design, very nice indeed. As I say, sound quality, wireless features, the Creative Labs ZI Sound D5, top notch product. Thanks very much for listening. Please do come back soon and check out more reviews on the Geek Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by BMI Solutions the largest reseller of document scanners within the UK, with a price promise guarantee.